Mother, Sarah, sister, Nella, father, Leonard. Okay. <clears throat> Hello, I'm Heather. You must be Nella. Can you hear me with that thing on? I hear you. Where's Roy? Well, he was held up at work and he asked me to meet him here. I hope that's okay. Yeah, that's all right if he says so. Can I come in? Sure, if you want to. Hey, Mom! Miss Heather Dalton's here, so roll out the red carpet. Lily? Hmm? I'm sorry. That I might have gotten a little carried away before, but... <laughs> felt so good. It's all right, really. <clears throat> I understand. You know, I could have gotten more carried away. But I didn't do that because I respect you too much. I know that sounds really corny, but I'm serious. I really do. Thanks. <clears throat> really, that I means mean, a lot. It's me. true. I mean it. <sighs> What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing's wrong. It's getting late. It's getting late. I think you should go home and you should study, and I should go home and work on my relationship, my wonderful re relationship with my mother. You're right. Uh, <laughs> oh! <laughs> I knew that was coming. You me. knew that. I'm so happy, Lily. I really am. I, I miss you so oh, much. Oh, I miss you too. We've been through so much together. And I think that's probably why we're both confused about the same things. But if we stick with each other, I bet you we can get through them. You're right. You're right. Come on, let's go. Every time I'm with you, I, I, I feel better, you know? I guess, I guess that's a good sign. Something that goes along with growing up. Yeah, I guess that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> get this out of here. 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 Miss Snyder. Why have you come here to my house? I tried to call you on the phone. You hung up on me. Oh, I'm so sorry. I had company. I was busy. I just cannot drop whatever I'm doing whenever you have the whim to make a demand. Mm, it's not a whim, Mrs. Walsh. We'll get it off your chest, baby, all right? I don't want you to be here when Lily comes back. Why not? I thought that you were going to leave Lily alone. I thought you were going to leave me alone. But I get no grace, period, of course. Yeah. I can't turn around. I find you in my house. I find you talking on the phone to me with a new demand. What is it this time? How dare you use Holden to try to keep Lily from the farm? Oh, my. Now, how did you find out about that? Oh. Sierra told Craig. He is Craig very young. He Isla. is very impressionable. He is trying to do a good job here. How dare you use him as your <laughs> personal secret agent? Miss Snyder, Balderdash. <laughs> anyway, I told him to ease off. Only because Sierra called you on it. Oh, now, how did you find out about that? You and Craig really compare notes. Yeah, yeah, Mrs. Walsh, I warned you. I warned you to keep my family out of this battle that you insist on fighting with me. I insist. What choice have I got, Miss Snyder? Oh, just, just worry about Lily's happiness. Because that's all I want. I'm not trying to blackmail you. I do not oh, want Snyder, any of so your money. There's so many kinds of blackmail, aren't there? Mm -hmm. There's so many ways of getting what you want. Yes. You're doing everything you can to come between me and Lily and to win her to your side. 
I wish I could honestly convince you that this is not a contest. Is this a contest? You're no mother. You don't have feelings for her. I do. Yeah. Do you want to raise her? Do you want to watch her grow? Do you want to support her? Do you want her? Ava, hi. <laughs> what are you doing here? Hi. Oh, gosh. I miss you. <laughs> Margo, that was so thoughtful of you to come over here and tell us about Roy. Well, I, I guess I got scooped by Heather. Have you heard anything down at police headquarters? No, no, just that Roy's being called as a witness. Any idea as to why? Nope. Well, I should go home. I've got to change. Well, come on, sweetheart. I'll, I'll walk out the door with you. I wonder who that is. Oh, Detective Munson, come on in. Yes. How? What are you doing here? Hi, Margo. I just dropped by to tell you that the grand jury has been assembled. Already? Yes, and I have a subpoena here for Mrs. Hughes. She's to appear before them tomorrow afternoon. Most of these CBS stations. Join us tomorrow for As the World Turns.